Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Metrics, No Simping, All Subjects channel. So I ain't even planned on making all these videos today. But I got to stay on this racism tip. And I'm going to show y'all why no black person should be listening to the Tate brothers. They didn't say nothing. Nothing at all about what just Pearly thinks said. And they put down autistic people. And they was trafficking girls. Shouldn't nobody, how's this dude getting interviews? How's this dude even popular at all? That's how you know the condition of the world where somebody like him, everybody want to talk to him and somebody like me who actually is righteous gets held back, gets shadow banned, gets my videos put into separate files so I won't make too much money or have too much influence on this social media stuff. And at this point, I don't care. I don't. I don't. Most of the people y'all got popular is y'all agents. And I know this. And I know it's probably never going to change. Myron can put on a Ku Klux Klan hood and get more views than me, which says a lot about the way y'all people on there watch YouTube think and the way this, this whole video thing works. I ain't trying to hear nothing about no algorithm, man. That's bunk. I'm not trying to hear it, man. And this is why shouldn't no black people be listening to just pearly things or Nick Fuentes and all of y'all girls that was hugging on him and had him say the N-word. Shame on you. You useless. You useless. Like, you hate other black people and you black. That's just weird. So, I told y'all about what just happened. And... This is why just pearly things cannot be in this manosphere. We could call it something else. If the people who founded it want to be down with just pearly things, then maybe we should change the name and all of us black people who know this is a struggle, know people still hate us, know that it's not a fair, fair world out there, know that we should be getting reparations. All of us should just go somewhere and, and maybe have our own thing going because a lot of these dudes are Oreo cookies, moon pies. You all creamy inside. You all creamy white inside, man. And you took up for just pearly things. And, and I question your intelligence. I don't care. I don't care about your content. I don't care if your content is good or bad. Everybody that took up for just pearly things, I question your intelligence because of what just happened to me right then and there. This stuff's still going on. And you trying to take up for somebody that talk like Nick Fuentes, Obsidian? That talk like just pearly things? We can't even go certain places without them thinking negative stuff and we don't even be on no negative stuff. As if, now I could see if black people was the only people doing this stuff, the only people killing, the only people stealing, the only people doing drugs, the only people doing all this negativity, then I would understand and I wouldn't have nothing to say. But because we not the only ones, we just the only ones that's highlighted. And y'all want to take up for her? Your IQ is low. If you're taking up for racist people, if you are real life Clayton Bigsby, you have a low IQ. I don't care if you got a million sub. Myron is a clown. Angry Man is a clown. Obsidian is a clown. Bernard Riley is a clown. All y'all do. The Tate brothers are clowns. All y'all do is clown. All of y'all that didn't say nothing is clowns too. All of y'all. And then y'all wanted to get on the women. Well, it's not their place. Man, shut up. I'm so tired of soft dudes, man. Man, in the 90s, y'all, dude, a lot of y'all dudes would have been catching beat down after beat down. Acting soft like that and acting weak like that. You would have been getting beat down. I don't know where y'all grew up, but if y'all grew up in my hood, every time you came out the house, somebody would be trying to fight you, punch you in your face. These dudes trying to take up for them? And think of how many people, think of the dude, what's his name, Raheem Carter or whatever, Rasheem Carter down in Mississippi, 
starting stuff with him because he's black. Find him dismembered. Think about all the people that the only thing they ever did was have the wrong color skin. And y'all want to take up for white people because you, 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 I'm starting to wonder about you. I'm, I am. Because I don't get it. And then some of these guys who didn't have nothing to say, they've been divorced from white women. They've been broke up from white women. They paying child support to white women. They paying alimony to white women. But yet they still didn't have anything to say about just pearly things and Nick Fuentes. Now, this is to me is bringing it right back just because you can't even do your job and most, man, I ain't trying to hear nothing. This Midwest is segregated. And that's, if, like I said, if that's how they feel, then that's how they feel. But don't waste my time and don't waste my money over your freaking feelings. I don't got time for that, man. Like they done just threw my day off like every hour. When you self-employ anybody, I tell you, every hour is of significance. You can't be wasting time. And they just wasted a lot of my time. And don't be thinking that these little liberated looking ones with the earring in their nose, because one of the ones that did this garbage, she looked like she would be more liberal, like she would be for all four black rights and all this, all that. She wasn't. She was the main one. And I got on their heels. I don't care. They always, there's another mad black person. You, you right. I got every reason to be mad. <coughs> Something I do every day, all day, gets delayed because they think I'm trying to steal the product. I did the same thing I do every time. But as soon as I go over there, it's a freaking problem, man. Get the... I don't got time, man. I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm telling you, I'm not finna play this game. I'm not, ever. I'm not playing that game. I'm a free man. <clears throat> I'm always gonna be a free man or I'm gonna be a dead man. That's just all it is. Or fill in the blank. I ain't gonna say too much. But me being forced to do things for free to benefit somebody else, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. I, I put that on all my ancestors and I put that on my father's grave as well. It'll never happen. And do what you gotta do. But that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> people need to start having higher IQ people handling these orders. Like when truck drivers and stuff come to your facility, some of them gonna be black. They don't got time for you to be thinking this, thinking that, wasting their time. They gotta finish they uh they they loads. And they drop offs. Y'all, dude, how do we keep talking about this? This is the all subjects channel. But I keep getting forced to talk about this. What the hell is wrong with some of these people, man? Like, they don't understand. They just don't want to let go. You know how we are over the 80s, people in my generation? The only thing about us that's different. People in my generation didn't like the 80s, the movies, the way people thought, the, the uh, everything. Is we still function in the 2000s. But some of these people, they letting racism blind their mind like they can't even function. Like sometimes I be going places and it's like white people be staring at me like, man, what what what's the what's the deal? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I ain't did nothing. What's, what's your problem? What's your problem? 
I don't like your kind around here. Okay. I'll be out of your hair in no time. You don't got to like me. But I can guarantee you this as a prophet. You will not make it into them heavens. Hating certain people and certain races. You, you just not. Because hate is the host of the parasite called the lost soul. The lost soul is the result of hate. I'm telling you. That's the result of hate. I know your little cushy church. Like, let's go here. I can I can practically I, I'm like a bloodhound for, for like the traditional little suburbanite church goer. I can sniff them. I know them from anywhere. They be racist too. A lot of them. I told y'all about the time where I really needed a job real bad. And that dude, and, and I had way more experience than the people he hired. But he didn't hire any. I was the only black guy to interview for the job. And he wanted to talk about how he was a deacon in his church and this, that, and the other. But he didn't even give me a chance. And I had all the experience from the job. I didn't, I answered all his questions. You know, I know how to interview. And he still hired other people. But yet, I'm supposed to think that when I go through the gates, he going to be there? Nah, he probably ain't going to be there. Not if he don't get that hate out of his heart. That's like, even though I could watch every slave movie ever made, and it's still not going to make me judge white people no different. I'm going to judge them by what they do. I'm going to judge them by what they say, not by what happened in the past. You know why? Because again, high IQ, high wonderlick. This me. This is me we talking about. I'm not a low IQ person that needs to watch TV to gain knowledge, that needs other people to do my thinking for me. I'm not one of those people. I'm a person who can think for himself. I could watch every slave movie there is, and I'm still, if I still wouldn't look at white people no different if they wasn't doing this or that. I'm not. Now, when they start doing racist stuff like what happened, now my eyes is going to zero in on their behavior. Like, how are we still dealing with racism, man? If you better than us, you better than us. I mean, if you better, that's, that's like, you got two teams, right? And one of the teams is better than the other one. And they play five games. Who's going to win most of those games? The team that's better, right? Now, are they better if they have to cheat to win? No, they're not. They're not. You're not elite and you're not better if you have to cheat to win. That's the lie, one of the lies that the devil puts in these people's mind. Because what you don't realize is the devil don't like white people, the devil don't like black people, the devil don't like Asians, Latinos, monks, the devil don't like uh, people born and raised in Africa, the devil don't like people Chinese. This ain't about black and white. This is about good versus evil. And racism is evil. If a person ain't did nothing to you, then you shouldn't be doing nothing to them. That's just all it is to it. That's all it is to it. So, this comes down to good and evil, and it comes down flat out to intelligence. Intelligence level. IQ level. You could be a billionaire. If you're a racist, I'm better than you. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm better than you in terms of I think better than you. Put it that way. Because your standard is flawed. So if you're a racist against certain races, it don't matter what your economic uh, status is, you are gonna come up short when it's all said and done. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now I know everything is flipped, I know. I know what y'all believe. 
Everything is flipped. I know what you believe. But you believe in lies. You should have came and saw the prophet before you start forming all these foolish beliefs. You really should have. So, just know that you're suffering from a condition that only you can heal when you're a racist. You are. You are. And I'll tell you something else. Black people who you ain't trying to thrive, you ain't trying to flourish, you ain't trying to do good for yourself and your family. All you want to talk about is the white man this, white man that. You just as bad as they are, man. You address it when it needs to be addressed, but you continue on. And if, if they got a problem with you like that, then that should be all the more reason for you to move ahead of them in things like finances, things like that. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Get more than them. See, they want to zero in on us. And I'm going to tell you something. One of the, I ain't going to say what race was with her, but y'all be letting these other people come over here and they be acting like that too. You know, don't come over here with that. If you going to come over here and have a problem, with the people that's already here. Stay yo punk ASS. And I I, I'm going to try not to cuz. I'm just going to spell it. Over in your country. Don't come over here with that man. You don't mess around and get jacked up by somebody with that man. You need to take that back where you came from. We get enough of that as it is. You will sure take our money though. But you try to hold to those ideas. Man get out of here. It was somebody else with her. And then one thing I hate about, one thing I don't like about people from today is if you make a mistake, own up to it. Apologize. See, they got, they got, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of embarrassed them. But they deserved it. They do you think they apologize? No, they didn't apologize. You know why? Because they racist. That's why. That's why. And that black dude that was back there with them, he better watch his back. He better watch out. Because one thing about people from today is when they got a problem with you, they not going to rest until you gone out of the building, out of the job, out of the whatever it is, out of the church, out of whatever. They not going to rest until you gone. So anyway, I got to get to Isaiah 4 and 1. I feel I address that. Myron, you a clown. I'll debate you any day of the week. We could have we could find a neutral neutral site and we could debate. And please do not bring up fighting, man. You can't fight. I don't believe you could fight. I'm just gonna be honest about it. If you could fight, then when preach accepted your challenge, you would have went head on and boxed him. I don't believe you could fight. But that's a whole nother subject. You know, because fighting requires a certain mindset and how you be joking around with with the black this black that but then you was in the bed with white guys <laughs> uh, yeah yeah he says, they told Nick Fuentes to say the N-word. Myron said, 
It's not funny, but dude is just an idiot, man. He said I heard the magic word, and he had that hood on his head. And let me show you how goofy them girls is. They wanted Nick to say that word. But then when Myron put the hood on, they had a problem with it. That's, that just shows confusion. Some of y'all, when y'all see white people, y'all just start acting confused. I just act the way I act, you know? So, any, you can get, you can get this smoke, Meyer. You easy work. I've watched you many videos. You don't even really relay your talking points the right way. You not red pill. You not. People want to say you are. People who want to send people, agents who want the word red pill to end, stuff like that. They want to say that you red pill, but you not. Just like the Tate brothers ain't. Just like Sneeko ain't. Sneeko, some of his, his thoughts, he might be a pinch. But I don't believe the Tate brothers is at all. I don't believe Myron or Fresh is at all. Y'all, they just grifting on the space. They grifting on the, the the popularity of the red pill talking points. But they not red pill. So all of y'all who the black man is fair is a joke, all this, all that. I'll be watching y'all videos. I hear what y'all be saying. You you relaying it to the wrong people, man. Yeah, they might have said it's called the manosphere, but that don't mean that they can convey the talking point. Just like Mr. Let Go, another clown, at farm lines in his head. He was challenging everybody to come up and 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 present the red pill talking point. But when I came up, he kept cutting me off, putting me backstage, insulting me. Let me tell you something. You a grown man, and you insulting another man for, for no reason? I question your manhood. You a grown boy. You an old boy. That's what you are. Because what man is going to insult another man for no reason? At all. Like, at all. Like, I wasn't disrespecting him or anything. And he insulted gig workers so if you still on his page and you still super chatting him and you work for uber you do instacart you do doordash or any of that stuff he put all of y'all down he put all of y'all down him and them two not so attractive women that he had on his show but that's how women is now they could be unattractive but they think because people are sticking in that that makes them valuable. That makes them attractive. It don't. A lot of these guys, they don't care. They gonna go. They just want that feeling. They want that sauce to, to be released. It don't matter how you look. Y'all getting it misconstrued. It don't matter if you fat, skinny, any of that. It don't matter. It's always going to be simps. And they always going to take whatever they can get. So. But he was inside me for no reason at all. But that's a hey, I can expect that out of him, though. I can't like. I've heard him talk on many occasions and I agree with a couple things, but most of what he says, he tries to cater to women. And he tries to go against men because he's trying to he's trying to promote his little show. And part of him promoting his show is promoting marriage, promoting dating, which pretty much for most people is non-existent. Now, one thing I give him, he tried he tried to get on it just pearly. I give him that. But he's another one though. So again, get your IQs up. Get your IQs up. 
stop letting this racist stuff define you. If you want to take flight because I moved to your neighborhood, take flight. I'm going to have my feet up in my house. Take flight. Keep taking flight. You'll be moving all the time trying not to live around black people. You ain't. Hey, listen, we getting more money now. Good luck. Good luck. But thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. This is The Truth Man. The channel is The No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.